Are you one of those people who suffers from allergies triggered by cleaning chemicals? If you are, you're not alone, but you're gonna love the light and easy steam mop, which works off of no chemicals whatsoever. This is super exciting, and we know that by using a steamer, we can kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria on hard surfaces with just steam alone. So come to the rescue, the light and easy steam mop. Now, when I get done showing you all the different ways you can use it, you're gonna go, Ange, I gotta get me one of those. It's okay, I will leave links in the show notes so you can. At the time of this recording, it retails for $149, which is about the equivalent of three tanks of gasoline for your car. So for $149, you can own one and use it in all the ways I'm about to show you. Now, one of the things that I wanna tell you, it's kind of a little secret, it's not just a steam mop. If I take this apart and this just comes undone, it becomes a steamer by itself. And you'll see on my table, I have a whole bunch of different attachments that go with this. And I'll show you how to use those. But there's a plug in here and this plug plugs right into here. By itself, it's a steamer. When I plug it into here, it becomes a steam mop. Now, if I don't plug it in, I can use this part as just a regular mop for dry mopping and wet mopping floors. So now you have a multi-purpose tool that you can use for lots and lots of cleaning, okay? Now, one of the first things that I do when I get a new tool is I like to lay all of the equipment out and get a really good grasp on what came in the box and how to use it. Now, it's really tempting just to plug something in and just start using it without being really aware of everything that you have. So I recommend as a very first step that you read the quick start guide. This one is 11 pages and it's very comprehensive, but it will show you every piece of equipment that comes with your unit, as well as all of the safety instructions here in the front. If you go to the book itself, it shows you different ways to use it and things you might use it on, things you need to be aware of. And at the back, there's a troubleshooting guide. So before you return it, if you think something's wrong, check the troubleshooting guide because most of the questions that you have will be answered right here. There is also a one year limited warranty at the back. And if you have any questions or you need replacement parts or you need extra microfiber mop pads, all that information is in the guide. So save the guide because that is your Bible on how to make this work. All right, I'm gonna share with you how I use this so that it makes a little bit more sense on what you're seeing here. These tags did not come with the unit. I put these on myself. I just got a roll of painter's tape. This is not included in the kit. I do this separate just to keep myself on track. A magic marker, a roll of painter's tape. I cut little strips and I say, this is for the barbecue grill. Now this particular attachment has metal um, bristles on it. If I use this on anything but a barbecue grill, it's going to scratch. So I want myself and my family to know at a glance, that is what this is for. Now, I love the painter's tape for this reason. It peels off really easy. Should I ever decide to peel this off? It just peels off. It leaves no sticky residue whatsoever. The other thing I really like about this, and all of these pieces, all of these attachment pieces, are space age heavy duty resin with heavy duty bristles. So all of these are dishwasher safe. Let's talk for a second about the handle. If I turn the unit to the side, there's a button on the side, and if I press that button in, the handle separates from the unit itself. This allows me, there's a little handle here, this allows me to carry the units to and from a job without carrying it with the great big handle because then I run the risk of bending or breaking the handle. But this allows me to transport it easily, and then when I get there, there's a little end and a big end, and it just slides right in place. When you hear it snap, you know that your unit is connected properly. Now on this handle, and I'll show you this, there's a little bucket. And that little bucket holds this hose. So you'll see that I've got a couple of connectors here. This slides in just like that, that also connects in place. When your unit is put together, the big end of the hose threads through the handle and it stores just like that on top of your unit so that you have your unit at a glance. In order to use the mop as a mop by itself, the first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the cord from the handle. That's this little clip up here at the top. Then we're gonna leave this to the side. We're gonna turn the steam mop to the back. This handle on the top, we're gonna pull out and turn all the way around. And that's gonna make it easy just to pop this cord off. Now I have the cord and it's disconnected from the unit itself, which just leaves the unit to be a freestanding unit. 
but now my cord is loose. So I've saved the twisty tie, which is a Velcro tie here, and I'm gonna twist that right around the cord itself. And that way I have my cord all in one place. Now I can disconnect my power, which is the steamer itself. That can be used separately. And now I can use the mop just as a mop. In order to use this as a mop, I can use it one of three ways. I can use it as a dry dust mop, as a damp wet mop, or as a steam mop. Now for luxury vinyl plank flooring and hardwood flooring, just for quick pickups around the house, I would probably use it as a dry dust mop. So the cool part about this is it's super lightweight and it's easy to use just for quick jobs. I disconnect the power source from it so there's no power and there's no steam. I take the mop itself and this has a swivel head. It swivels in all directions. So it makes it easy to do your great big S patterns across the floor. It also lays pretty flat. So it goes right underneath furniture and around table legs and all kinds of hard to reach places. Now the mop itself has six different pieces of Velcro on the bottom. And so in order to connect this, I have a microfiber mop pad. And this is the same mop pad that I'm gonna use for all the different types of mopping. This is reusable and machine washable. So in order to connect it, I put it on a flat surface. I take my mop, I stick it on, and now I'm good to go. Now, the cool part about this is the mop pad, because it is microfiber, it holds seven times its weight in water. So if I wanna use this as a damp mop, I simply take the microfiber cloth, not the one I just used for dusting because it would be dirty, a clean one, and I, in the bathroom or the kitchen sink, I run it under cold water, and now it is wet, and I squeeze it out so there's no extra water. I do the exact same process where I put it down on a flat surface, and then I put my mop on top of it and Velcro it to the bottom. Now, we gotta talk about the Velcro for a second. Because all of the mop pads are picked up by Velcro, I gotta protect the Velcro on the bottom. So if you're storing the mop itself and you put it on a carpet, it's gonna Velcro itself to the carpet. And when you go to pull it up, you're gonna get all kinds of little itty bitty things inside your Velcro. And then when you go to put it on the mop head, it's not gonna stick. So sold separately, this is completely separate, but I use a cutting board. And this is just an inexpensive cutting board that will go from room to room, depending on where I am, so that I can store it on a cutting board, which is a flat surface, and it protects the Velcro so that next time I'm ready to use it for my mop pads, it still sticks. All right, one note about the microfiber mop pads. These will pick up lint as well. And we wanna protect our microfiber mop pads so they do an effective job. So when I use these in the washing machine and I'm gonna wash them, I wanna put them inside a mesh bag. And this is a mesh bag with a zipper. Water can get through this really nicely so I can just put inside my microfiber mop pads. Those go inside the washing machine. When they come out, I can just let these air dry and they will be good to go again, okay? So I will leave links in the show notes to both the cutting board and the mesh bags. A secret about the mesh bags, it comes in a kit, there are a few of them. You can take the attachments, which are a heavy duty resin. It's like a space age resin, so they're dishwasher safe. I can put these all inside a mesh bag. They all fit inside here, I zip it up, and then I can put this whole entire pack inside the dishwasher and it will wash them and it will clean them so that when I open them up again, they're all clean for the next use. So a couple of tips there on how to use the steamer. Now, if you're going to use the steamer as a regular steam mop, this is where you connect the steamer and the power. This unit is the handheld steamer and it has a plug right in here. This plug connects to this plug right here. And so if it's not connected all the way, the power is not gonna get to the unit. So in order to connect it, you put it inside the docking station, and then with both hands, you squeeze it tight. And once you squeeze it, like giving it a little hug, then it connects the plug so that now the electricity goes all the way down to the base plate where you're gonna be steaming your floor. Now, this is perfect for ceramic tiles in bathrooms, for example, where you have like hairspray and stuff that you've sprayed and it's fallen on the floor and there's icky, sticky stuff in the bathroom. The steamer is perfect for that. If you have things like dog puke or spilled soup 
or other animal issues on your floor. It's also great for steaming those areas as well. So I love this for this unit because as a mop, it is fantastic using it dry, wet, or with steam. One of the coolest things I love about the new light and easy steam mop is what I'm calling upright cutoff technology. What that is basically is if you have to leave for some reason, you get called away on an emergency, or if you just forget and you put your steamer in an upright position, when you put it in an upright position, the steam automatically cuts off. That's new with this model, but it prevents your floor from getting discolored or from staining. You just put it in an upright position and the steam stops. Then when you're ready to start up again, you put your foot on the face of the foot plate and you gently dip your handle back and the steam automatically starts up again. This lets you pick up right where you left off without ruining your floor. If we are gonna be using a handheld unit, this goes to the cord and you'll see that the plug goes to this plug right here. Now, it doesn't matter which way you plug this in. You unplug it this way with the buttons and you can turn it around and also plug it in this way. So either way works. And once it's snapped in place, it's gonna send the power to the other end of the hose. And that's where we're gonna attach another piece. And this works just like this. You'll see that those pieces fit. And once it's snapped in place, you know that you have a connect seal. Now, this is a fabric bonnet that goes over the top of this swivel head. And this can be used for soap scum on shower doors. It can also be used for fabrics in upholstery or valances or fancy pillows or anything like that. So this is just using the handheld steamer and the steamer attachment. In order to use the steamer itself, we need to add some water and we wanna make sure that before we do that the plug is unplugged so we don't have any electrical issues while we're filling it with water. This here is the plug that locks the water in the unit so it doesn't come out. There's a hole that goes down inside the unit and we have in order to fill it up what looks like a little gasoline can. Now two of these containers will fill up this unit full. So we're gonna use regular tap water and the cool part about this particular method of cleaning is that it's completely chemical free. If you have hard water, we do recommend that you use distilled water. But other than that, all you need for this is just water. We request that you use no chemicals and no essential oils in this unit. It can clog the unit and make the unit stop working properly. So we wanna just make sure nothing but water. Okay, so that now we have two of those containers. I'm gonna close the door and push the plug in place so it locks it in place. Now, if I turn my unit around, you can see the water fill line. And when you start running out of water, you can just look at the back of the unit through that clear door and it will tell you how much water is left. Now, to go ahead and use it, we're gonna plug in the plug. And by plugging in the plug, it's going to light the lights here. And this gives us a low, a medium, or a high. And that way it takes about 30 seconds to heat up before you're able to use your steamer. If I hold the cutting board in front of this, you can see how much steam gets on the front of it within just a second or two. Using your steamer on sealed granite is perfectly okay. It only takes a couple of seconds to dry. You'll go in a great big Z pattern so that you don't miss anything. And if you have kids that sit at a counter or a table, and they've got greasy or jelly fingers underneath, you can simply steam underneath there and the edges of the table with your steamer and that way you don't have to climb underneath the table. So it makes your job super easy. So again, seal the granite is perfectly okay with a handheld steamer. Moving on to the shower, I painted the walls with some hair dye, which would be similar to somebody rinsing hair dye off in the shower and then letting it dry and get stuck on your ceramic tile. I also put some makeup foundation in the shower, which would be similar if somebody were to wash off their makeup in the shower. I also painted the walls with some lipsticks, which do come off on my fingers, but they are a waxy, greasy buildup because they are designed to moisturize your lips. So we're gonna use just the steamer, which is a heavy duty resin with um, nylon bristles. And we're gonna use a cloth just with the steam and the cloth to wipe this off. No chemicals whatsoever. 
I'm going to turn my steamer on high. It's going to be safe for this ceramic tile shower. And just gently using the brush, I'm going to brush the hair dye off the walls. And you can see with the steam, it's coming right off. And this was dry. It wasn't coming off on my fingers, but here it is coming off with just the steam, a little bit of scrubbing and the cloth. Now I did speed up this video two times, so you didn't have to watch the whole thing, but I'm really delighted with the results. This is completely chemical free, great way to clean. For those of you that have sensitivities, this is a great way to go. Now taking off the lipstick was a little bit different. It did leave some residue here and it does come off with the cloth, but if you wanted to use just some good old fashioned soap along with this, that would also be fine. Heavy duty chemicals are not required, uh, but like I said, if you wanted to use some soap, you could. For this illustration, we're just going to use the steam and a cloth. And you can see that with the foundation, it's coming right off. And this is designed to hide imperfections in someone's face. And right here on the sides of the shower, it comes right off. So I'm really pleased with the results uh, because it's easy to say, yeah, steam cleans clean things, but if you make a mess, does it also work? And the answer is yes. Here we're looking at some grout and it looks like we've got some mold in this grout. And this is typical of something that you might find in a shower. We did not plant this here. This was actually inside the shower. And so we're going to be using a grout tool that Light and Easy gives us with this kit. And it's a grout tool that is perfectly safe for any type of stone. And I get asked this question a lot. What can I use for the grout in my marble shower or my ceramic tile shower, or I've got a slate shower, or I get asked the question a lot. And steam is 100% perfectly safe because with chemicals on stone, you can damage or etch the stone. And with steam, it's perfectly safe and a sure bet for a shower in order to stay on top of the grout. So this is a really, really great tool. And you can see that whatever it is that's inside this grout is coming right out with nothing but the steam and this brush. So I'm super pleased with the results. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up and five stars for a job well done from nothing but steam and my cloth. My cloth is wasted because of all the makeup and the hair dye, <laughs> but that looks fantastic. One quick note about unplugging your steamer. Uh, you always want to unplug it from the outlet itself rather than take it out and yank it from the cord across the room. Because if you do, it can bend the prongs and you want to protect your plug. So always remove it from the outlet itself by placing your hands on the plug itself. Whenever you're done using your steamer, it's important that you empty the reservoir before storing the unit. To do that, we'll open the door to the water spout and we will just dump it upside down, emptying all of the water into the sink. Once all of the water is completely empty, we want to store it with the little door open so that any air and any water can escape and evaporate without it storing inside the unit building up bacteria or what have you. So this is the light and easy steam mop and I am super excited to share with you that this did receive the Savvy Cleaner seal of approval for chemical free cleaning and ease of use, truth in advertising and all of the things that I mentioned to you here today. So thank you light and easy for coming to the table with things that will reduce our allergies. Thank you for sponsoring today's show. Thank you for being a leader in the cleaning industry. And thank you for helping us leave the world a cleaner place. Now, if you have questions or comments, those go in the notes below. I've invited light and easy to join us in the comments. Maybe they can answer questions that you have as well. All right. Until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.